Starting with breaking news out of Englewood, where a police officer has been shot. WGN's Courtney Spinelli is live at the University of Chicago Hospital with the latest. Courtney, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Micah and Taman. An officer was rushed here to the University of Chicago Medical Center tonight after police say he was shot in the 5600 block of South Shields. We are told that officer is expected to survive and that he suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Now, the Chicago Fire Department tells us it transported the officer with a gunshot wound to his hand. A second officer was also transported related to this incident for evaluation. Now, this is a look at the scene, which spans several blocks with South Shields blocked off between West 57th and Garfield Boulevard. Several other surrounding streets also shut down during this police investigation. Now, dozens of uniformed officers, detectives and supervisors are also on scene right now as residents and onlookers gather nearby where everything happened. Just a short distance away, there were at least two other scenes with a significant police presence, although it's not clear at this time if all are connected. We are working to ask police if there is any relation between the three scenes. Now, we spoke with a woman who lived in the neighborhood for decades. She describes what she heard earlier tonight. I see the police come 5017, make a left and go up Shields. So I proceeded up Princeton to be nosy and then I heard shots. So I came back. I at this time, police have not shared any other specifics on what may have led up to this, including whether any civilians or anybody else was injured in this incident. They have also not said whether anyone is in custody related to the incident. We are expecting an update here shortly at the University of Chicago Medical Center from CPD leadership, though it's not clear exactly what time that will be happening at. We are we also are told the Civilian Office of Police Accountability or COPA is also investigating this. They're asking anybody with information to reach out to them. For now, reporting live outside of the University of Chicago Medical Center, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.